नमस्कार मित्र मैत्रिण आज आम आलो आहोत रेग्युलर आई चेकअप सा धीरज आनी तो ये तुम्हें बढ़त आना कम्प्लीट फैमिल आई केयर नाव है तो चला तो आप जाऊँ आत्म तुम्हारा मैं दाखते Okay, and then we're gonna have you turn around. And you're gonna come over here and on the right hand side. You can choose whichever eye you want to start with. You're just going to put one eye up to that circle. You're going to look for the blue target and lean forward from blue to green. So, <laughs> That's going to be hard. There you go. Keep leaning forward until you see it turn green. And open super big. And we're going to do one more. And now your other eye. Now you're going to look for the blue target and lean forward from blue to फार पावरफुल है हाँ सर ऑप्टिमा है ये रैटिना च पिक्चर घे है तुम्हारा जर डोत औषध भर डायरेक्ट कराए ना तुम्हें डोले तो ये अगर छान ऑप्शन है तो यहाँ दसत ए पी ई क्यू एफ अगर आके रीड कराए मैं E T H Y E Y B and both eyes. N O. Me आ गया है eye checkup साथी आने है अमेरिके में दिन eye checkup से मशीन आए कैसा वाट लगता है ना है इंडिया में देखा सही मत से अस्तर था तो मतलब सामने कमेंट्स में दे Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to give you two choices. The two choices that I'm giving you are not going to be perfect, okay? But of the two that I'm going to give you, you tell me which one's clear. So, for example, let's call this as being choice number one compared with choice number two. Read this one. H-N-F-G-O. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your, your vision at distance is great. Good job. Read what you can here. I'm pushing you a little bit. O-H-P-N-P. Excellent. All right, let's switch from distance vision to reading, okay? So looking at this reading, this would be like reading a book, your phone, something that, to that nature, okay? Can you read that bottom one? Yes, A-P-E-O-R-F-B-G. Very nice. Is it better to see that one, number one that you're looking at, or number two? One and two. Two, two 
Two is a little bit better. Okay, two versus three. Two and three. About the same. Mm -hmm. Here's two. Here's three. Three is coordinated. Yeah? Pretty close though, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. same. Okay. Let's go here. Let's keep it same. there. All right. So looking at your vision of what we're finding right here, how are your reading glasses doing currently? Those little reading glasses. Are they working still? Mm -hmm. That one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grab them. That one I am using. Is it working? Can you see everything you need yes. to see? Okay, so let's take a look at that. Working. Put those on. What I want you to look at is the, how clear these glasses are compared to that pair that I just showed you, okay? So look at the quality of that bottle on APEO or FDZ, right? Look how clear that looks. You don't have to read them, just look how clear it is, okay? You don't have to read them, just look how clear they are, okay? Take them off. Now this is what you and I just found. Is this better or is it about the same as your glasses? Pretty close? This is similar. Yeah. Oh, put, yours, put, put yours back on here after looking at it. Okay, now put yours on again to compare. Woo, we're going in circles, sweetie. <laughs> All right, take, take that, take that. Well, here, take this. Yeah, that's not working, so this is better. I don't know yeah. how else to explain it to her. Here, look up in the ceiling. Look up this, yeah. So the, the story is, is that if she doesn't feel like those reading glasses are doing well, this is a little stronger and it might be a little bit better. She's got to make the decision if this mm -hmm. isn't working. Because as we get older, the vision weakens, you know, and we're going to need stronger power. Does that but happen she's with the only animals? one that's going to tell us, not me telling her. What's that? Does that happen with animals as well? <laughs> animals? Yeah, absolutely. But they're not reading a phone and, you know, iPads <laughs> and phones. Maybe they are. My dog watches TV. It's really interesting. Are you ready? You don't have to hold your head back. You're going to give yourself a neck. <laughs> Wipe your eyes. A lot of crying this morning. Up close and you're trying to read something. You know, you're going to need reading glasses. It's just part of the age change. Look right over here. Incredible. The ball okay, lids and lashes yeah. look to be pretty clear. Ball and the church. Um, look at my smiley face. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, lids and lashes are clear. Conch looks good. Cornea, iris, and lens are normal. Into your chamber. A little shallow, but she's okay. Look right over here. Young and healthy. You look good. You wear sunglasses when you're outside? Yes, she does. Okay, good. You need to keep doing that just to protect from the ultraviolet radiation. Okay, one more and we're almost done. Ready when you are. Lean your forehead towards the bar. There you go. And then look right over here. Blink, blink, blink there for me. And then hold it open and do not blink, okay? Hold it right there. Perfect. Thank you. Good, the eye pressure is good. We want it somewhere between 10 and 22, so 14 is good. Let's see, four, five. Excellent, your eyes look healthy. You. You're just getting into the 40s and that's the problem, okay? So let me explain this last thing for you. We're looking at the eye. When you go to read something, your lens inside your eye used to change its shape like this, okay? And so we lose that elasticity when we get in the 40s. And that's why we wear reading glasses to compensate for this, what this isn't doing anymore. Right? So here's the inside of your eye. We're not done. I don't know where you're going. So here's your right eye's retina. Here's your left eye's retina. This is what's inside your eye. Okay? So if we're looking at your eye like this, I think everybody's from, uh, familiar with the iris and the pupil, right? When light comes in, the first thing it goes through is your cornea, then it goes through your pupil, then it goes through our lens, and it focuses onto your retina. So when you look at your retina, this is like if we were to shrink ourselves and fly through your pupil, this is what we see when we look inside your eye. Really good looking. You got a really healthy eye. Huh. Do you eat a lot of greens? Yeah. Yeah, and that's really good for the retina. So when you look at that light coming in, it lands right here. All this is your peripheral vision.
and it's all feeding to the optic nerve and that optic nerve takes it to your brain. All looks great. So what's changing for you right now uh, is your reading vision is getting weaker because of age. We call that presbyopia. Okay, and that's why you need the reading glasses. Eyes wide open. Blink, blink, blink. Eyes wide open. Good. Megan, a tiny bit more. Right there. Go ahead and sit back. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't think. N D G F D. Switch eyes for me. Blink, blink, blink. Try that one. Uh, okay. No. Okay. I know what that is, but I can't read it. Blink, blink, blink. Again, like not very clear. Okay. When you're covering your, your eye, did you close your eye? Yeah. It's gonna take a while for you to refocus. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> blink, blink, blink. Whenever you're ready, try that one. G N O H E. And this one. F O A C H. Blink, blink, blink. Try that. E D H V B. Blink, blink, blink. Try that one. C N O Q F T. Blink, blink, blink. Try that. Okay, I can guess A Z L B C. Blink, blink, blink. I'm going to challenge you even more. Best guess on that one. V D E L T. Put your hand down. Blink, blink, blink. I'm going to turn this side. Enough numbers. Mm -hmm. Three seven four two five eight. I could have done the one below that, but I don't want to. You don't want to? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to try it? Nine three seven eight two six. That's like kind of cheating, you know. I use my brain instead of eyes to read. <laughs> Which is just a number. Oh, it is, but it, we change because of age. I promise you, if you looked at yourself that, 10 years ago, you don't look like the same guy. Yeah. So last time you were here is a patient, I, I told you, patient's long-term computer use can lead to dry eyes. Yes. Dr. Garza recommended to use artificial tears two to three times a day. Gave you a sample of Sustain to help keep your yeah, eyes I use them when I Good. Like so are you doing that consistently since you work yeah. on the computer a lot? Yeah. Okay. And also take breaks from the computer, go and get your vision mm -hmm. out to distance. Okay, yeah. good. And then, of course, at this point in time, at that time, I was just kind of warning you that, look, your reading vision is going to start becoming a problem. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, I think my wife saw you next. Next, yeah. And that was year. just last year, March of last year, so almost a year ago. Uh, let's see what she wrote. Yeah, you maybe had a little allergy? Yeah, last, time, last year wow. I had allergies. That's pretty much it. You guys pretty much had an uneventful eye exam. You definitely were showing the need for reading glasses at the time though, but you probably didn't feel it. Yeah, what she said was, uh, if I start using half a point five, then it would keep on increasing. So no, I, can, that... I can stretch it as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. But the thing is when you do, really when you do start, you know, it's really what I tell a person is like, there's no perfect time to get into reading glasses. A little bit better for being okay with one or two? Uh, one, one, one. Yep. Okay, and then try to read this one for me. That's E V D T L. Mm -hmm, the D is an O. Okay. Yeah, no worries though. That's pretty good. Yeah, your vision at distance is good also. All right, you see the E there? Yes. All right, same instructions. Which one's clear? Choice one or choice two? One. One and three. Three. Three and four. Three. Now, I'm going to make this one really blurry. When you start to read letters from this line, stop me. A, B, E, O, F. Very nice. Better to see it with one though? Okay. Or two? One. One. One and three. One. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good job. So enjoy that you don't really absolutely need them all the time right now. Okay.
pregnant. You're a little bit rare there. Most patients at 47 heading to 48 typically are finally getting to that point where they're like, okay, I need them more often. Okay, blink a couple times there for me. Hold it wide open, look at right here. Try not to blink. Perfect, get right there. Excellent. You know, presbyopia is the term of loss of focusing in the 40s. When we start at 40 to 55 is the time period where this lens will slowly harden. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's literally like, um, you know, the elasticity of this being 10 out of 10 when we're 40, but as we age, it starts going 9, 8, 7, right? The elasticity so, of the lens. Yes. And so by the time we're 55, this lens is, not, is zero. So anything that you guys are doing that is arms length and in is going to require reading glasses. Now, the, what power do I need? The power that you need is based on the distance. Okay. The closer you are, the more power you need. The further out, the less. Where you are right now with your vision is just, you just need it for the, you know, something like this. Yeah, like that. You know, and that's that power that she's got over there. And there's nothing wrong. So put it on, take it off, right? And of course, that'll be changing soon. All right, but here's the inside of your right eye and the inside of your left eye. I mean, really, you're looking stuff here too, buddy. So again, if we were to look at your right eye. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were to shrink ourselves and fly through your pupil. This is yeah. what we see when we look inside your right eye. So your central vision of your right eye is this area right here that we call the macula, okay? All this is your peripheral vision. I mean, look, really good looking, okay? So information here centrally and all this peripherally, like your side vision, all feeds to the optic nerve, and that optic nerve takes it to your brain. Vision part of your brain's in the back of your head. Through the optic nerve, there's a little canal that enables your artery. Yours is kind of hard to see, but here's an artery right there, and there's a big vein right there. Mm -hmm. So some patients with high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol issues, you sometimes can see that kind of stuff in the stress of the retinal vessels here. But we don't see anything here, because you're, you're young and boring. <laughs> there's your right eye, and you can see your lid and lashes got into the picture. So the differences between photos and dilation is that, you know, in, in dilation, I can move your eyelashes out of the way and I can see a little bit more down right, here. Right. But this is definitely more educational and it's quicker. So it's totally up to you when you do come into uh, what you want me to do. But I don't think it's a bad idea every now and then to get your eyes dilated. Right, right, right. Yeah, so I can work okay. But with that, uh, everything looks healthy. Do you have any questions for me? From both of you guys. सर आमचे दोघांचं आय चेकअप झालेलं आहे आमचे दोघांचे आईज खूप छान आहेत डॉक्टरनी सांगितलं आणि फोर्टीनंतर जे लागतात ग्लासेस ते रिडिंग ग्लासेस 